welcome back to Keeping Up in Disney. I'm actually currently heading to Hollywood Studios alone for right now because Jamie is with her cousin still and they were getting ready and it's actually like 10, 10 right now and they stopped serving those blueberry Mickey waffles at 10.30 so I wanted to make it on time. And then Jamie's cousin has a car so they're just gonna drive over and meet me there. I'm gonna take the Skyliner because it'll be quicker to go get the waffles and then we're all gonna meet up there in like 30 minutes but I just wanted to get these waffles and maybe like a coffee or something so we're heading over now on the Skyliner and we'll be there soon. And we made it. It was a nice quick easy journey. So I'm hoping they're still here but the Mickey blueberry waffles are usually at Hollywood Scoops before 10 30 so here we go. So there they are, the Mickey Blueberry Waffles. They look so good and they're like $10 for this platter. I would really enjoy a drink or a coffee with these. So I think I'm gonna go get a latte or something. Maybe the Round em Up latte because I didn't try it yesterday. We'll go head over to that Joffrey's. Get a latte for my waffles. Jamie and Jake just got here. And this is the Round em Up latte. So that's the one that I've wanted to try for so long. So I'm gonna get it. This is my outfit and my ears are by Myra. And you can use my code Disney15 for some money off. The waffles were so good. And I've started drinking my Round em Up latte. I should have gotten a picture while it looked nice, but I was really thirsty and it looked good, so I just took a sip right away. It's pretty good. Not nearly as good as the toffee flavor. I gotta say, that one's still uh, the best one I've had. And then actually, toffee flight is about evenly tied with the uh, almond cold brew from the Riviera. So Jamie is planning on asking her cousin Jake something. Got it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's so cool. And now we're walking through the wall at One Man's Dream exhibit to try to find live action Ariel who should be meeting back here. Oh, and this is pretty cool. They have the, yeah, the costumes. And we actually, we saw some of the costumes too at the Disney 100 exhibition. It's really cool. And I think this is in the same spot where Sully used to meet. It looks very familiar. So here we go. This is actually kind of cool. They have the outfits from the new Percy Jackson show on Disney Plus. I want to go on the wish so bad. It looks so cool. Now we're gonna meet Chip and Dale. Darth Vader just walked up on Jamie. This is pretty cool. So we just did the Disney visa photos at, with the Hollywood Studios and we're waiting for our turn and Darth Vader pops up and I was not paying attention. I like was looking down and then I looked up and I screamed so loud because he scared me. It was the funniest thing ever. It was Crazy. funny. Yeah, he, he was big, he was tall, and he came out of nowhere. I was not expecting that at all. But we did get cool Darth Vader photos. I'll throw them in the video here now so you can see them. Oh, and yeah, Jamie got a drink with a glow cube and it's bright out so we couldn't see it, but now that we're kind of in the launch bay area, you can see the glow. It Do looks you cool. Try it? Sure. Tastes like a margarita. It's a good one though. Tastes like a really good margarita. Oh look, there's who we just met. Meeting Darth Vader was fun, and now we're back by Star Tours, and we're gonna try it out, because they do have the new stuff. They have like the Ahsoka scenes, I think Mandalorian, something else, so hopefully this is cool with the updates. It's only 10 minutes. Oh, well it says, it says 15 now, that shouldn't be bad. The queue for this ride is so cool. Feels like we're in the forest. Am I an Ewok? We're almost for the ride. Yeah, there's like a five minute wait. So, 
Here we go, we are boarding our plane. And this is a 3D ride anyway, so I'm not gonna really record it, but here we go. Jamie, are you ready for Star Tours? No. And then there is the shop outside of Star Tours where they have a bunch of stuff. They do have like some of the lightsabers. They are like the $250 nice ones, not at the level of the ones that you can, kind of similar to the ones you can make at Savvy's, but you just obviously can't customize and build them then. Then they do have the cheaper options too, and kind of the budget lightsabers over here. And so many plushes, clothes, and other things too. And you can do the build your own lightsaber over there too, but again, it's not as high quality as the Savvy's experience. And now we're gonna ride Tower of Terror, and this is actually only gonna be Jamie's second time ever on the ride. So this should be exciting. I love the queue for this ride so much. It's beautiful. This is truly an impressive queue. They need to make more queues at the level of something like Tower of Terror and just ride experiences. The toilet. We made it. Welcome everyone to the Hollywood Tower Hotel. In just a few moments, the elevator will arrive and we will take you to your rooms. When stormy night long ago, five people stepped through the door of an elevator and into a nightmare. That door is opening once again, and this time, it's opening for you. by Chippendale again. And I think we're gonna go get food now. Jamie's getting Woody's again, so we're gonna eat there. And I think I'm gonna pick up ABC Commissary on the way. It's been a few years since we've been in here, eating in here. It is a really nice big restaurant and they've changed the menu quite a bit. So I ordered a chicken sandwich, I think, and we're gonna see how it is. Other menu items now do include the chicken sandwich, a burger, uh, the buffalo chicken grilled cheese, which I've actually heard is pretty good. A salad, pork carnitas tacos, and shrimp tacos. Along with kids meal, sides, desserts, so typical quick service. So Jamie got her Woody's and the grown up lemonade. Jake got the brisket one actually, looks really good. We've never tried that. And then I got this from ABC Commissary. It's just like a chicken bacon cheese sandwich, it looks good. And now it's time for Slinky Dog Dash. Yay, we didn't do this yesterday. So we're about to get on and Jamie and Jake are actually getting the front row for the Slinky Dog.
Jamie, get ready for the photo. Smile. And now we're gonna watch the Frozen sing along again today. And I will be celebrating the Arendelle Festival. <laughs> I'm Anna. Hi. Well, now I am honored to introduce to you all the Arendelle Royal Historian. Hi. I'm Aria. Give it up for Aria. Come on. <laughs> and I am Sir Eric. Hello, everyone. Wasted on Hans's chin. <laughs> Conceal, don't feel. It's Courtney today, come on! All the citizens of Arendelle and Festival. No, not, not that I remember. I think we'd remember seeing the Queen of Arendelle. <laughs> <laughs> just do me a favor and keep an eye out for her. Sure, yeah, right. Howdy, oh, Reindeer King, we got you. No, it's just Kristoff. Oh, Christopher. I am so sorry. I got uh, it's Kristoff. Oh, Christopher off. Mm. It's got a little tail. <laughs> We walked back by the front and look over here, Geppetto and Pinocchio. I kind of want to, and, and Dopey and Grumpy, or yeah, this is so cool. Okay, well, nice. I want to meet Pinocchio and Geppetto. This is seriously so cool. We didn't expect them to be out. We have never met Pinocchio and Geppetto. We have met Dopey and Grumpy at Storybook Dining, but it'll be really cool to meet Pinocchio. And Jamie's gonna get to meet them next. Excellent, thank you guys, I appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, hello. Your shoes are incredible. Oh. <laughs> oh, Grumpy, you'll be okay. Saying goodbye to the dwarf friends. We're gonna get to meet Geppetto and Pinocchio. This is so exciting. Oh, Geppetto likes them. <laughs> Goodbye kisses from Geppetto and Pinocchio. Oh, and that was the perfect timing because I think they're about to go back too. Wow, yeah, that was good timing. We got to meet them. And there they go. How cool. Now we're just quick doing some shopping too in the stores right up by the front. It's like there's the entrance, the studios. They have so many Magic Band Pluses here. So many good Star Wars ones that I haven't seen anywhere else. Here's the one that I'm wearing, the orange bird. Do you see the, oh look, there's the, do you, you have that one, right? The mermaid one. I don't see that Simba one here though that I really liked. So I think I'll have to get that in Animal Kingdom. Ooh, and these are some like the limited edition pens. There's the Little Mermaid Parade for one. I love these pens, the ones where they're just like picnic sands. Like they're out at a picnic. Look at the Incredibles family, they look so normal. Look at the characters from Luca. Andy and Bonnie out at a picnic, that's so cool. I was saying I wish they had like a Chip and Dale picnic one, like how they sit out in Hollywood Studios and do the picnics. And a bunch of mystery pins too. 
This store has so many pins. I still really want to get this Lexo Ball one. Oh, I actually really like Toy Story Land. I haven't seen that. I almost kind of want that one. Oh, and here's all the parks ones. They have Hollywood Studios, Epcot, Magic Kingdom, and Animal. And then they have the one with all four. I really like this one too still. I want to get that one, I think. And I like, where is the, ooh, they still have this orange bird one. They don't have the Chippendale Tower of Terror here. That's the one I like best. Jamie always loves these journal book things and she has the Sleeping Beauty one and she has always wanted the Snow White one and it's only $34.99. So I think this is just gonna be like another birthday present for Jamie. And now we're in the clothes store on the other side too, and they actually have a lot of good stuff here. They have one of those baseball spirit jerseys. A lot of the good shirts and spirit jerseys in here. They still have the Christmas sweater? That's crazy. I love that one. I have it. Why do all these new bags for sale look so terrible and dirty and scuff? It's kind of weird. But those ears are cool. And Jamie's cousin has left now and he had to drive back to where he lives and yeah Jamie's sad that he had to leave but it was a fun day that we got to spend together so now I think we might get heading over to Baseline Tap House because we've always wanted to try it and between today and yesterday we've done most of the big rides that we like to and we're just kind of taking it easy now. Here we are hopefully hopefully we can find a nice little table or something. So we're at Baseline now, it is so nice here. I can't believe we've never stopped. They actually do have a great selection of beers and drinks, wines, and these amazing pretzels with beer cheese fondue sauce. And then I got, this is actually a cider, but it's a blood orange cider. So I thought that sounded really good because I usually like ciders more than like beers and I've never had like a orange hard cider. Yeah, but they do have like so many good beers in there. You can choose between a 16 or a 20 ounce pour. They have charcuterie snacks. Honestly, Baseline is great, especially if you want like a beer or a drink to just relax and chill during the day. It's honestly the best spot to come. Baseline plays such chill music too. Right now they're playing like the We're finding it hard to believe we're in heaven song, but it's like a chilled out jazz version I was hearing others that are the same way like they were playing Pink Floyd the wall songs, but like these chilled out jazz covers. It's really nice here We're gonna do Midway Mania. It said it was a 15 on the app like 30 minutes ago And then it randomly jumped up to a 50 but I thought that seemed suspicious. And look at this. There's no way this is a 50 minute wait. Yeah, still no line until we get close to Potato Head. So this will, it'll probably be like 15 or 20 minutes. And Potato Head's moving today. Wow, that's a surprise. He's kind of working. His eyes are at least moving today and I did see his body move a little. Yeah, it was like five minutes so far, and we got our glasses, and we'll be on pretty soon. We're passing by the Generil store. So we are here, and yeah, the 50 minute wait ended up about being a 15 minute wait, so that worked out nicely. I want to get a good score, so I'm not going to record too much on this one, and I'll update our scores at the end. Hopefully I break 200,000 this one. Okay, we're almost at the prize booth. That last round is seriously so intense on the arm. Come on. No! I think I was like right around the same I did last time. We both did pretty good though. Jamie won a bunny this time. I just won the cat again. I always get the cat. I want to beat the best this hour sometime. Okay, so since it was so short, and now it actually says 15, I think we might just go again, because we're gonna try for one more last good score. Because this will probably be the last time we ride it, this trip. This time it is literally just a walk-on. It's like we have a lightning lane, basically. There's no way it. Okay, literally still not a person. Walk-on. All right, the moment of truth. I don't think I did too great. We didn't get the robot to open his mouth. Okay, I beat my other ones. And Jamie, you beat your last score too. Got the bunny. I got the cat again. I always win the cat. I really want to win the deer or the bear. So it's just about 7 o'clock right now and I think we're going to finish off with a ride on Mickey and Minnie's. It's posted at 30 minutes, but it doesn't look too bad. And we waited for this yesterday when it said 30 and it took like 20 or so, so 
I mean, that's that's okay too for this ride. It'll be a fun way to end our night in the studios. And we were here yesterday and today, and between the two days, we did pretty much every ride and show in the park, except like Alien Swirling Saucers and Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. And there were a few rides that we actually did twice and a few shows that we did twice. So I'd say we got a lot done. We tried new food and drinks, had some returning favorites. And yeah, it was just a really good time. Yeah, it's moving super quick again. We got in line like five minutes ago at like 6.50. And we're already almost at where it connects with the lightning land. Here comes our train. And it is 7.18, so it did take about 30, 35 minutes, which isn't bad at all though for Mickey and Minnie's. And this is our last ride of the day, so here we go. It was a lot of fun going on Mickey and Minnie's one last time, and with that, I think we're going to bid adieu to Hollywood Studios for this trip. But we, I guess we do have Park Hopper and we're staying at Caribbean Beach, and it's so easy to get here, so we could always just jump over another night or whenever if we wanted to do something quick or stop back in and get a grilled cheese or something. So. Maybe not goodbye, but at least we're heading out for now. It was a really fun day in Hollywood Studios with Jamie's cousin doing a couple other fun things that we didn't do yesterday and some new things that we've never done before, trying baseline and some other good stuff. And yeah, we're gonna head back to the resort on the Skyliner now. Back to the Skyliner, here we go. Goodbye Hollywood Studios. It actually looks beautiful. Look, there's a sunset on the Hollywood Tower Hotel as we cruise away. Wow, that looks so pretty. And we're back. We stopped back at the room for just a little bit, and now we're gonna head over to the Riviera. We've been walking there for like five minutes already from our room, and we're gonna check out maybe their quick surfs to see if we wanna get some dinner there or some drinks, and then maybe check out like the gift shop or something if we have time, I don't know, we'll see. But Jamie hasn't been over to the Riviera yet this trip. We're gonna go see the murals in there too. They're cool. These are just so pretty at night. Check that out, and the tangled one as well. And it just looks beautiful with the Riviera backdrop there. This is such a pretty resort. So we're actually leaving the Riviera now, and we have some leftovers. We ended up going to Bar Riva, and we got some drinks there. Jamie got a margarita to go to, and we ended up getting food, and I got a bacon cheeseburger, and I hope I took a picture at least, because we were not filming or showing anything really. Jamie got a margarita pizza, but we met some nice people there and we were just sitting at the bar talking and they have actually stayed at now every single Disney resort. So they were telling us about some of their travels and their favorites and everything. But they said even like Vero Beach and everything. So we were just kind of hearing about their experiences and some of their favorites and talking while we were just eating and having our drinks. And now we're getting heading back to the room. The burger was delicious. It was actually one of the best bacon cheeseburgers I've had in Disney. They even did ask how I wanted it cooked and I was pretty surprised because usually it just comes like a medium well or almost well done, but I was able to order a medium and it was a pretty thick delicious burger actually. 